हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विथ सेल स्क्रिप्टिंग टूटोरियल फॉर डेब ऑप्स और फॉर डे डेवलपर लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न सेल स्क्रिप्ट एंड यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग देन डोंट वरी आई विल बी कवरिंग फ्रॉम अ स्क्रैच एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन लाइक हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन वेरिएबल इन सेल स्क्रिप्ट एंड वाट आर द डेटा टाइप्स इन सेल स्क्रिप्ट okay with the real time example we have seen and in this video we are going to discuss about control structure in cell script okay so control structure help you to make decision and control the flow of your script okay so first one is the if statement if statement is used to conditional branching allow you to execute different command based on whether a certain condition is true or false okay so if condition is true then we are going to execute if and if condition is false then we will be executing uh, else condition okay so let's go to the terminal and let me create one file here touch script dot sh okay now let's do vi script dot sh okay so let me explain how we can write okay our if else condition first so this is shivang as uh, everybody knows or if you don't know then don't worry so this is the expression that we use in our cell script to tell this to tell the script that we are cell script please uh, execute according to that only okay so when we are going to like uh, use if else condition first we have to write if then we have to use a square bracket then we have to define our condition here then we have to use uh, a square bracket here then we have to use colon here okay then we have to write then okay and we have to print some message like echo hi or something like that you can print okay and suppose if this condition is not true then we want to execute the another condition so for that we have to use else okay and then we have to write our uh, script or message okay so we are just trying to understand with the message okay so echo hi and we have to end with fi we have to end the script with fi okay so suppose if this if a statement is not true then this script is going to execute uh, else statement okay so this is the way how we can define and use if else condition in our cell script so let's try to understand with the real time real time example in that script i will be welcoming the user to my channel okay so first we have to write echo enter enter your name and we want to read the name okay so echo it will ask the user to enter your name and it will read the name of the user whatever name user will provide okay so now we are going to use our if else condition okay so we have to use a square bracket then we have to define our uh, variable here dollar name okay and if name is equal to b pin okay we have to close with a square bracket then we have to use colon then we have to write then okay as we have seen so we have to write the welcome message echo welcome to world 
sorry welcome lipin to world of aws channel okay so suppose if this statement is not true okay then what we want to suppose user is not vpn then uh, it, it our script is not going to welcoming uh, welcome other person or other user so for that uh, we are going to use else condition okay okay so if any user came and they execute the script so our script will welcome them as well okay then echo we have to write our message here welcome and dollar then name okay so here we are defining variable so that user can give any name okay to world of aws channel and we have to close with double quotes and we have to end the script with f5 okay so let's save this to save you have to press escape then colon then exclamation mark sorry w q then exclamation mark okay you have to change the permission of this file that we have just created and we have write our shell script for that we have to use ch mode 700 and the file name script.sh we have successfully changed our file permission now it's time to execute our shell script so for that we have to use dot forward slash and the file name script.sh okay so it's asking me for name so let me enter my name vpin welcome vpin to world of aws channel okay so let's try to execute it again with a different name rahul okay welcome rahul to world of aws channel right so it's welcoming all the user whatever user is providing the name according to that our script is welcoming them okay so let's try to execute with uh, one more others okay so welcome others to world of aws channel okay so let's try with the other example here so press i let's remove this here we are going to use another condition echo enter any digit any number okay so we are going to like um, calculate if some uh, number or digit is uh, greater than 10 or less than 10 by this script okay so we have to use read that is number okay and we have to use our script here and we have to use a uh, square bracket and we have to define the variable that is number and we have to use double quotes here okay then if hyphen gt is greater than okay 10 and we have to close with square bracket then we have to define colon then we have to write then okay and we want to print the message like uh, number is greater than 10 or not okay for that we have to use quotes number is greater than 10 and double quotes and suppose if number is less than 10 
then we have to use else condition here okay and our masses so echo dollar and the number number is less than 10 okay and we have to end our script with fi okay so we have successfully written our script to determine whether the number is greater than 10 or less than 10 okay to and now let's save our script with using escape and colon then wq then exclamation mark okay so we don't have to change the file permission right now because we have just used and edited the same file that we have uh, used before so let's try to execute this script script.sh so enter any number we are entering 12 okay so number is greater than 10 okay and let's execute this script again enter 2 so 2 is less than 10 okay so it's behaving as we expected okay so that's it that's it for this video i hope you understand like how we can define if else condition in our cell script okay so this is really important if you are working in any organization and you have to automate some kind of task or you are a devops engineer okay so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any query then do let me know in the comment section thanks thanks for watching and if you are new to my channel then do check out my other playlist as well thanks see you in the next video